Hey guys, this is Henry here again, aka Spirit FX. Alright, in this video, I would want to be um explaining because I've gotten a whole lot of messages from people. Oh, sir, please do a proper explanation on what Forex is. So in this video, I'll try my possible best to explain what Forex trading is in a layman understanding. Because honestly speaking, I have watched a whole lot of YouTube videos. I have attended seminars. I've also even been a tutor in some seminars. And I've, there's something that I've understood. All these Forex trading tutorials, they I think they purposely um, make this Forex trading thing look so difficult and too technical. I really don't know why. Because when you check out their handouts, they, they, they just elaborate a whole lot of things. They, they make things look too technical. Something that is supposed to take you a week or five days to, to cover, they will just expand it. And I don't, know, I don't know why people do that. So in this video, I really want to explain to you. So please sit back, relax, and do not skip any part of this video because you'll be getting information that will change your life forever so if you have been going through different videos asking questions that you've not understood in this video i will explain to you what forex trading is and i'll tell you the step by step what you need what you need step by step to becoming a professional trader i have taught over five thousand students and i get daily testimonies i'll be pasting my telegram group link in the description of this video so that it doesn't look as if i am just talking you can come to my group and check for yourself all right so uh without any further ado let's jump in we are already in <laughs> so now what is forex trading forex trading is simple you can go on google and search what you will see there is the exchange of currencies buying and selling of currencies it's as simple as that the buying and selling of currencies all right now let me give you this simple illustration let's say for instance i want to travel to the uk and um you know i'm in nigeria and i want to travel to the uk definitely i will need pounds i can't carry naira to the uk and start spending naira it's not possible i will need their currency so probably at the airport let's say for instance i want to change I want i need one thousand pounds to travel to the uk i just want to spend one week all right at the airport and probably at that time one gbp which is great britain pound is worth 500 naira this is just an illustration an example once i get to the airport meaning i need one thousand dollars if one pounds is 500 naira equivalent to 500 meaning i need five hundred thousand naira to be able to change it to get one thousand pounds all right, let's say I carried 500,000 Naira. I went to the airport on my way to the to UK. I changed it in the airport. I gave them 500,000 Naira and they gave me 1,000 pounds. Now, I have actually um, participated in the Forex market because I have exchanged currency for currency. All right. Now, let's say I now travel. As I traveled, I spent one week. I went to stay with my girlfriend or my mom or whosoever. And I didn't spend that $1,000 because they actually took care of me while i was in the uk on my way back and i want to change it back to naira because now i'm coming back to nigeria i need naira i can't spend pounds now let's say during that one week pounds appreciated in value from the 500 naira which it was to 600 naira now while i'm changing in the bar in uh, at the airport once i give them back the 1000 pounds i should be expecting 500,000, but instead i'll be giving 600,000 because pounds actually increased in value in that one in the space of that one week meaning i have made hundred thousand naira profits this is forex trading currencies um, 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 changes in value every second every minute every hour every day every week every month every year currency changes in value so what we are actually doing is we are participating in the buying and selling of these currencies so you see let's say for instance while i was in the uk then pounds actually depreciated in value and went down to 450 when i get to the airport and i change it and i give them the money i should be expecting 500 000, but they will give me 450 meaning i have made a loss of fifty thousand naira now 
the question you might ask okay sir i now understand what forex trading means from your explanation or your illustration so how can i participate in the market will i have to be going to the airport or going to a burundi change person buying and holding and you can do that if but i wouldn't advise you to do that because now there are platforms thank god for the internet thank god for or uh, uh, civilization now you can participate in the uh, forex market from the comfort of your home using your mobile phone or your laptop so now what are the things you'll be needing to participate because that is the most question people ask you'll be needing two things number one you'll be needing a broker number two you'll be needing a trading app or a trading platform those are just the two things you'll be needing it is not bogus it is not too much it's not too technical calm yourself down you would understand just follow this video step by step all right now what is a broker you might ask what is a broker okay now when i went to the bank to change i actually met a burundi change person somebody that actually um um um, um, um made that transaction possible now your broker is that is, is just standing in the gap of that person do you understand that is a broker your broker is 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 somebody that gives you the opportunity to participate in the forex market that is your broker it gives you the uh, opportunity to participate in the forex market all right F with a little minimum amount you get so now a broker i've explained what a broker is we have different brokers for um xnex octa fx hot forex pepe pepe whatsoever and um they have different but the broker that i would recommend you to use is xnex because that is what i've been using for years and it has been awesome super fast deposit super 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 fast withdrawal good customer care and everything awesome i'll be pasting the link of my um xnex partner account or my, of my a link whereby you can use to register on xnex all right so make sure you click the description of this video and to actually um, um say thank you for this video once you use that link to register xnex actually gives me a commission all right so if this video has been helpful even though we've not ended it because there are still a whole lot of things i'm going to be teaching you make sure you click the link in the description of this video to register on xnex and once you after registering on xnex i would advise you to join my telegram group because i send signals what are signals signals are okay because okay now let me make this clear to you forex trading is in two steps it's two stages the normal stage and the professional stage or the advanced stage now the normal stage for me is you understanding how to trade it with the broker how to trade with your trading platform you know when to buy you know what to sell you know when they say buy you know what it means you know when they say buy eu arrow usd you know they are talking about eu arrow stand for euro usd stand for united state dollar you know this is what they are talking about so that is the beginner stage that is the normal stage that is the simple level now the advanced stage is you understanding how to snipe perfect entry points or you knowing when to buy and when not to buy when to sell and when not to sell meaning you understand technical and fundamental analysis now this is the level where i am so i can actually tell you okay buy xau usd now or buy gbp usd now because i have studied the chart i have done my research and i can tell you what to buy and what what, what to sell so now the, the 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 these are the two stages in forex trading so the a whole lot of people are still in the stage one many of them don't want to even ad advance to the stage two because it is technical i'm not going to lie to you it is technical it takes you need to know how to study the chart and all this thing but it is still easy although i have videos on that that will help you that will teach you how to go about this all right so but for this video is just an explanation to what forex trading is and what you'll be needing and i've told you what you'll be needing is a broker app and also a trading platform a trading app also so i i i, I recommended xnex and also a metatrader 5. you might say what about metatrader 4 because we have metatrader 4 and metatrader 5. i i i recommend metatrader 5 because it has better options 
all right i think it has more options than metatrader 4 all right now you can as well trade on the xnes platform because xnes themselves they have their own trading platform do you understand so some people if you are that type of person that don't like using two things you just want to do everything in one you the app should be where you deposit withdraw and trade okay fine you should just focus on xness but if you are the type of person probably you would have been seeing let me show you you have been seeing um apps like this where is that meta trader 5 we have seen apps like this these are the common apps do you understand um people um share when they share their screenshot and all that so if this is what you have been seeing this is what we call a meta meta trader 5 so this is how it looks like so i have videos on how to trade on xnex and how to trade on meta trader 5 so as i'm saying you should join my telegram group because i have listed this thing step by step so that you don't confuse yourself the first step is understanding what forex trading is which i've explained the second step now is understanding the broker to use which i'll be explaining in the next video and teaching you how to use that broker to deposit withdraw and trade the third step will be understanding metatrader 5 this app you see how to trade with it how to enter a, 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 a signal when a signal is being sent what is the signal let me go to my telegram group and explain what the signal is to you okay this is my telegram group this is my signal group i have 2500 uh, members here all right look at this now this is a signal as you can see sell usd jpy now tp and sl tp means take profit sl means stop loss all these things are what i'll be explaining to you in the next videos because I, I wouldn't want this video to be too long this is just to explain to you what forex trading is all right so at the beginner stage uh, because i told you forex trading is in two stages the normal stage and the advanced stage now if you are in the normal stage you will be needing signals somebody that will be telling you what to buy and what to sell because it is not a guesswork you can't just enter and start guessing you will blow your account you will lose your money so you will now be dependent on signal providers i'm also a signal provider so you will join my group then i will be telling you what to buy and what to sell because i am an advanced trader so i can actually study the chart and i can snipe perfect entry points so yes you can graduate to that level it's step by step all right okay so that's that is that so i want to believe that this video has been helpful now you now understand what forex trading is so i'll be begging you join i'll be pasting the link in the description of this video you will see trading group let me show you this is the trading group and this is the training group this is my training group i have 1576 members so the the both links people are joining every day so the both links will be pasted in the description of this video so it is simple in recap forex trading i've explained it to you what you need to participate in the forex market you need a broker and also a trading platform but nowadays brokers all these broker um, brokers they have their own trading platform in there but it's just that most of you are conversant with this meta trader so that's why you'll be needing two apps if not though that one app is enough all right so these are the only things you need so now the, the the question will now be sir how can i now understand the broker and how to use it don't worry i've done a well explanatory video you can check my youtube for the video you see where i said how to trade on in the x in the in the forex platform and i and, and i talked about using xnex because that is my best broker all right so thank you very much guys if this video has been helpful give it a thumbs up comment share